Right, now, uh, having briefly discussed uh, some of the, the benefits, uh, sort of generic benefits, of a business continuity plan, um, what is it that you want or should want or should expect from a business continuity plan? You want to provide an immediate, um, you know, it's something that's not going to take a lot of time to set up, so you want it planned in advance, accurate and measured response to a disaster, to uh, what, you know, something that is happening that is negatively impacting your, your business. Um, you want to provide procedures and a, a listing of resources that you need, need to get in place, have, but need to be pulled out of storage, whatever. Um, identify vendors that need to be contacted. And again, you know, the, part of planning is pre-contacting these people and finding out when, what their business continuity plans are and whether they are going to be prepared so that if you're relying on them in the event of a disaster, the disaster hasn't shut them down so that you don't have the resources that you need. You should have agreements in place with selected vendors. Um, you want to have this prepared, you want to have it procedural, um, you want to have it ready to go because you want to avoid confusion. Um, I mean, you know, if something bad happens, people go into shock. They are not at their best. They, you know, their cognitive facilities, which may otherwise be exemplary, are not going to be quite up to speed. Um, so we, we want to avoid this uh, period of confusion and any bad decisions that are made during it. And you know, that is also part of the reason for an immediate response. We want something that we can just take, pull off, start working through right away. Um, so we want uh, clear guidance for declaring a disaster. Um, this, is, uh, this is very interesting in Port Alberni right now. Uh, I'm on the emergency uh, support services team. And uh, we had the big highway closure in the summer. And the, that area of the highway, well, it, you know, there's been an awful lot of work done on it, is still not uh, really stable. And of course, right now we've got rain. You might have noticed that. Um, so there is the possibility. We've already had one uh, fall of debris from the slopes above onto the road, closing the road. Fortunately, in that case, uh, only for 24 hour period, roughly. Um, but the, uh, you know, the emergency uh, management uh, for the province is, is saying that uh, they are not going to declare an emergency just because of that. We are, um, we do have some uh, emergency services to address people's immediate needs if they're stuck, but, uh, you know, we're not going to generate a, a full-on activation, set up a reception center, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, anyways, they, they have that guidance. We're sort of stuck with, you know, okay, at what level uh, does it go beyond those guidelines and, and then they do declare a disaster. But, you know, there, there is to be clear guidance uh, in your business continuity planning document. You know, when are we declaring a disaster? And uh, 
because when that happens, um, you're going to make changes to the leadership. Um, you know, it's during a disaster, you may not have senior leadership in place. And so part of business continuity planning is having a succession plan for people who are trained in emergency response in in the business continuity plan, in the disaster recovery plan, dealing with that separate from senior management who may not be available and certainly you know may not be trained in the specifics of the plan. So um, you know you you've got to prepare this. It's it's all got to be clear. Um, we have to you know give necessary direction to ensure that the appropriate vital business services do continue to operate so that the business continues to operate so um, we're going to look into uh, document storage safeguarding um, and uh, ensuring the the retrieval of the the plans when the disaster happens and, and we need to do that. Yeah, part of that we'll, we'll talk about later in terms of uh, version control because you are going to be updating the plan over time as uh, the business changes, as situations change, as vendors change, you know, all kinds of things. So anyways, but um, we're going, the plan is going to describe the actions, the resources, the materials, um, that are necessary to support the operations, possibly at an alternate site, if uh, our business premises themselves are rendered uninhabitable or, or just difficult to work in uh, because of the nature of whatever uh, disaster is happening. And, uh, you know, document the recovery procedures. Um, we've got uh, we've got restoration and recovery. Um, restoration is getting back into business. You know, um, our our plant burns down. How do we, you know, get back up and running? Get back up and producing product and shipping it out um, in in whatever way we can, even if it's jury rigged. That's restoration. Recovery is um, making sure that we get back to our original plant, uh, which has been fixed, renovated, equipment restored, services plugged back in, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, so that we are returning to normal rather than emergency operations. So there is a difference between restoration and recovery. 